Hey, thanks for tuning in to Twang and Bang. The Wilson Combat Super Sniper in 308 has been my go-to gun for precision rifle competition for about two years. So I was really excited when they offered to send me an upper receiver in 6.5 Creedmoor because that's my new favorite cartridge of any kind, but especially precision rifle. The lower as you see it isn't as they sent it to me years ago with the 308 Super Sniper. I have added the LMT DMR stock so I get an adjustable cheek weld and I also installed a JP Enterprises silent capture spring on the inside to really smooth out the cycling of the bolt. But other than that, what you see here is pretty much what you'd get if you ordered a complete Super Sniper rifle. And what you get is a really nice shooting rifle with exceptional build quality. And that's why the Wilson Combat Super Sniper and 6.5 Creedmoor is what's coming up next on Twang and Bang. Though all Wilson Combat large frame ARs are match grade, the Super Sniper is their top of the line precision rifle. The billet receivers are 7075 T6 aluminum filled with a four pound Wilson Combat TTU single stage trigger and an MP inspected match grade bolt carrier group coated with NP3. I've previously featured the 308 in a video linked in the video description below. This is the 6.5 Creedmoor upper with a 24 inch 416R stainless barrel. A 22 inch barrel is also available for those willing to give up a bit of velocity for a shorter overall length. The barrel is fluted and threaded on the outside and hand polished with a reverse crown on the inside. Wilson Combat's Q-Comp comes on the muzzle, but I replaced it with a break from dead air so I could run my Sandman L silencer. This is Wilson Combat's proprietary trim handguard, but they now ship all new guns with an M-Lock version for greater compatibility with aftermarket accessories. Under that handguard lies an adjustable gas block made by SLR Rifle Works. What's especially nice about this gas block is that the metering screw is completely sealed off from gas, so it won't foul and freeze in place. Plus, it's click adjustable, so you can count your clicks for various loads and repeat your settings. Wilson Combat offers the Super Sniper in your choice of 24 different colors and styles of armor tough, a ceramic coating with a bit of built-in lubricity. I went with gray for my receivers and black for my barrel. I'm also running an S7 bipod supplied by Optics Planet, which gives me independent adjustments for cant and pan tension, as well as the usual adjustments for leg length and angle. Bushnell contributed an HDMR2 for the test with the 20 MOA mount provided by American Defense Manufacturing. I upgraded the lower by installing an LMT DMR adjustable stock and swapped out the spring and buffer with a JP Enterprises silent captured spring system. This is the JP Enterprises silent captured spring setup that I'm using. This is the H2 variant. It actually will run that way. This is the front, this is the back. This is what they recommend for shooting suppressed weapons. Even though I've got an adjustable gas block in this, that kind of adjusts the amount of punch that you're gonna get out of the bolt to get good cycling. And this smooths it out, whatever that power is. And I found that this is a very nice, very worthwhile upgrade to any precision gas gun. And I think a lot of people would like it even in a non-precision gas gun, just cause it makes the, the gun feel nicer when you pull the trigger. That is one nasty bolt carrier group. It's been run, suppressed, hundreds of rounds since the last time I soaked it with, I think it was Rand CLP. That's not what this is about though, but what this is about is how that MP3 coating, as dirty as this is, still allowed this to cycle perfectly fine. You can see where the wear areas are, the MP3 is showing through and that has its own built-in lubricity as well as being tough and i had zero reliability issues running this suppressed without hitting this with lubrication of course i am going to clean this up after i'm done with this video before i put this back in the safe but that's still impressive it shows why companies like wilson combat choose to go with coatings like mp3 for bolt carriers for hard use stuff it just works Wilson Combat guarantees sub MOA with factory match ammo and I had no problems achieving that unsuppressed. This barrel seemed to like the 142 grain Sierra Match King load from Gorilla Ammunition Best with American Eagle coming in right at around one MOA for most groups. Suppress is when this rifle shined however with Federal Fusion once again being an excellent performer even though it's a soft point hunting load. 
Reliability for me was the best I've ever experienced with a large frame AR. The SLR gas block allowed soft but consistent cycling across a wide variety of loads, suppressed and unsuppressed. However, a suppressor did seem to give the best performance both at the shoulder and down range. I didn't have my chrono, so I'm kind of guessing on what my holes are going to be based on other rifles. Got that nice fresh E-type. That'll get me my dope. That's a nice group. Okay, let's go for a swinger. Lots of guns can put match ammo on a 12 inch plate at 550 yards. The real fun is in running targets fast with a gas gun like this. This setup smooth cycling kept the targets in sight with no need for me to pull my hand off the fire controls to run a bolt. Though I have seen guys able to transition from target to target this quickly with a bolt gun, they are way more skilled than I am. A semi-auto like the Super Sniper lets me focus on steady aim and trigger pull while keeping a good rhythm down range. <laughs> nice. If you've seen other videos I've done on precision rifles in 6.5 Creedmoor, you already know that Federal Fusion soft point ammo hangs at 100 yards with match ammo. You'd still expect groups to fall apart at some point downrange from that, but they don't. I easily printed a sub MOA group at 400 yards and a steady crosswind, making this my clear choice for hunting with this setup. Look at that group hunting ammo at 400 yards. That's pretty crazy. All Wilson Combat Rifles are semi-custom. You could usually find some already built and ready for purchase on their website, but if you're willing to wait for the same exact price, they'll let you choose your color of armor tough finish for the receivers, for the handguard, for your barrel. They'll probably even swap out the single stage TTU that comes standard in the Super Sniper Lower with a two-stage if that's more your thing. Even with the customization that's available from the factory, I, I still chose to swap out the Roger stock that this came with, with this LMT DMR. At the time, it was the best adjustable stock that worked with the carbine length receiver extension that the Super Sniper comes with. Now Magpul has a Gen 3 PRS that also works. That would also be, I think, a very nice upgrade option for someone buying the Super Sniper. The standard recoil spring and buffer were really nice. They cycled just fine. As long as I had the gas block adjusted, I had very reliable cycling, very smooth cycling, but there's no question. The JP Silent Capture Spring System, it's a very nice system and it's a very nice upgrade to any precision gas gun. It, it doesn't impact reliability in any way that I've found, either better or worse. Uh, and though it's called the silent capture spring because it makes things quieter, that vibration translates to reticle movement. So you're reducing movement in a reticle, and I just find that the rifle settles in for follow-up shots or just calling my own hits a lot better with the silent capture spring in place. The upper receiver MSRPs for $16.95. And a complete rifle starts at 3145. If you want to learn more about the Super Sniper or any of the accessories that you've seen in this video, be sure to click the links in the video description. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. You can see the links right here. Be sure to click over here to subscribe so you can catch my next videos on bows, guns, and other cool stuff. I really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang, and I hope to see you next time.